China has trained their students far better now than before. Uh, we have almost, uh, I would say, the, the well best high school students and undergraduate students in mathematics. Mm -hmm. And they are able to study within China themselves. So a major event like ICM uh, happening in China or especially in Beijing city, mm -hmm. it would be great encouragement for them to develop their own way to learn how mathematics should behave in China. Mm. And it's like Olympics. O yes. When Olympics uh, came to China, uh, Chinese uh, um, in many different ki kind of uh, athletic activities are not as strong as the Western world. After 30 to 40 years development, now the Chinese uh, performance in the Olympics is among the very best. So we hope to see the same thing happen. Mm -hmm. After a major conference in China, the Chinese young mathematicians will be so encouraged that they will charge on to lead the world also. Now I understand there are two other candidates, for example, Japan and also the UK. How much competitive edge do you think you have, you and your colleagues? Well, it depends on the eyes of the jury. Yes, indeed. Uh, but on the other hand, I believe personally we are much better. The young students are absolutely first class now. After five years, they will perform and perform in an excellent manner. And I don't think Japan or England has that many young students are growing up. <laughs> and in fact, I was told the Japanese system, uh, the many high school students do not want to go to mathematics. Uh, but our students are eager to learn mathematics now. So that's good. So besides the students, uh, professional students I mentioned, we have about each year, 3,000 young talents. I mentioned these 12 year old students all over the country. Yeah. There are 3,000 young students of that age who show strong interest to come into mathematics. So after five years, we are talking a large number of good students. Mm. So these are one of the major difference between us and England or Japan. Uh, beyond that, uh, the country is getting richer in investing into basic science. Beijing City will be able to invest a large amount of funding to host for many uh, researchers all over the world, especially those from developing countries. Uh, we are going to pay in the order of 1,500 uh, uh, mathematicians to come to uh, China for free. Mm. 